Today, ready? 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 What do you remember about the 80s? Do what's right, and you can't go wrong. Nintendo. Tom Selleck's mustache. VHS. Do you like what you see? Good. Because it's not me, it's a recording of me on new Memorex videotape. 80s rock band hair. And don't forget 80s slang. I mean, he is so bitchin'. Hey, we chillin', that means we coolin'. Get like five feet of air and get right. Today we're gonna show you some 80s slang. It's gonna make you sound a little bit more 80s, but also way cooler. And at the end of this, we're also going to show you a few movies and a few cool songs that you can check out to learn English with. We're going to start with the slang that some people use and we're going to finish with the most popular. Alright, let's do it. Uh, I, it's actually 90s, it's not 80s. Oh, my bad. That's actually 90s as well. Whatevs. That's actually 2000s. Da or no da are two expressions that we use as a response to someone that has said something very obvious and therefore stupid. No, duh, isn't that obvious? Duh, it's an English lesson. I'm supposed to explain everything. Uh, duh. Duh. Got it? Brilliant. Duh. Another word which started in the 80s and still exists today is totally. It means a strong yes, such as definitely, or absolutely, or of course, it means 100% yes. Were the 80s cool? Totally. Does COVID suck big time? Totally. Can we drink right now? Totally. Coffee. Oh. Fave. 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 <laughs> Fave. Fave means favorite, and we use it when people are talking about a particular topic. We rarely use it as a question, it's more of a statement. You were traveling around the world, so which country did you like the most? Hmm, I'd probably say Brazil was my fave. Brazil? What yeah. about Colombia? Oh, what about my cool. country? It was cool. Um, don't. Ah, freak out. Freak out is when you lose emotional control. You might be really angry, really surprised, or really anxious. It has all those meanings, or maybe all of those things together, and it's still super commonly used today. I think I would freak out if I found out I won the lottery. Watching the original IT movie for the first time totally freaked me out. Aren't you going to say hello? I think I would freak out if someone came up out of the blue and told me that they were pregnant with my baby. I would freak out too. Kick ass. This word could be an adjective or a verb and it means awesome, badass, great. 80s hairstyles were kick ass and 80s music is kick ass. Uh, 80s culture kicked ass and 80s parties today still kick ass. What are the double cheese and sausage? Right here, dude. <laughs> One of the most flexible words in the English language is the word dude. Dude started off as a word which just meant men in the past, but these days it's used to describe men and women. Dude is super flexible and you can use it to express a variety of emotions. Dude. 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 And a bunch of others. Like. Like has many meanings, but today we're going to look at just a couple of them that became very popular during the 80s and 90s. The first is using like to show what someone says using real speech. Perfect. So the other day I came over to Kent's house and he was like, oh, why are you so late? So I was like, one, why don't you be here on time? And I was like, dude, give me some space. He was like, well, I have all these things to do. 
The second is using like as a word filler, similar to an um, an uh, or a you know. So learning English is like pretty hard. It's like climbing a mountain. You like need to study all the time and really put a lot of effort and concentration into like. <laughs> so I like you run out of ideas. Alright guys, that's uh, some 80s slang that's totally usable and still alive in 2021. And as for our recommended 80s list, please check out the list below. If you're an 80s baby, you might know some of them. If you're not, you're gonna enjoy them. What's your favorite 80s movie? Hit us up in the comments and let us know. And of course... Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Ready? Here we go.